Hey, thanks for joining us today at Live Music Nation Podcast, County Fair Edition. Today, we're with Blaine Martin from DeKalb County Fair, Missouri. Blaine, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us come hey, on board today. Blaine, Blaine, give me a little background on you. Where did you grow up? And then let's talk a little bit about your career and then also how you became involved with the fair. Okay. Um, background on me. Well, I this is my 12th year teaching agriculture here at Union Star High School. Um, I've... Grew up over around Winston, Missouri, which is about 40 minutes away from where I'm teaching right now. Um, I grew up loving ag and FFA so and science, so I figured why not go be an ag teacher because it took all my passions and threw it all into one thing. So um, as far as like how I got involved, well, it was kind of come with the job of being the ag teacher in one of the county schools. Um, our fair's got three schools. All three of us are on the board and kind of got started. And then I got promoted up the ladder to be the treasurer and the livestock superintendent. And then and then you said your wife is also on the board with you? Uh, yeah, my wife is on the board. Uh, she started about the same year. She's kind of taken over more responsibilities with her own fair over in Davies County, which is where um, her school is. She's also an ag teacher over there. So, do you guys, uh, you guys have some nice discussions about the agricultural industry as a whole? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we help each other out a lot, actually. Um, our kids, our students for both schools get to know each other pretty well, but then we yeah. also compete against each other. So, very, very fun. Good. Very cool. Let's talk a little bit about the Calp County Fair. Uh, give us a visual of the fair. What does it look like? What type of events and activities do you offer? So our fair is mainly just livestock shows. Um, we host all the species. We've got all the way. We got horses. We've got dogs. We've got rabbits and chickens, and uh, of course, in the usual beef, um, sheep, goats, and swine. Um, that's what we really focus on and it's all for the kids. So we try to give back money and prizes and as much stuff as we can. We have, it kind of depends on the year. We do a garden tractor pull every now and then if we can get it to come in, um, and get it, the weather to cooperate with us. But sure. that's kind of sure. our main things, um, that we've gone to now. Okay. Okay. And, and then, uh, do you have other events through the years? Do you do other types of fundraisers? Yeah, we'll do some other fundraisers. We're mostly donation based though. Um, so that's what we really rely on. Like I said, the garden tractor pull kind of becomes a fundraiser for us a little bit, but it's also a fun event for the community. But we try not to have, have a bunch of little fundraisers to nickel and dime everyone because there's other things that you know people need to give their money to other than right now the county fair, you know. For sure, for sure. Do you do you have a livestock auction or a ribbon auction or anything like that? We don't have a big sale of champions. It's been a talk uh, coming in, but we do add money. So if you win a grand champion heifer in our fair, the past few years of local cattlemen has graciously donated a heifer uh, to the winner of the grand champion heifer drive uh, off their farm. So nice. we, we have money, you know, that you get added. I know a couple of the species that's two to three hundred dollars added on top of your normal premium money that you would get if you were a grand champion. So we yeah, try yeah. to try to treat them right. Very good, very good. Now a lot of your county fair participants as well, they um, are involved in the school there locally. Mm -hmm. You talked about a lot of competitions. So you go do a lot of um, a lot of competitions with with your ag club. Um like we a lot of those kids, like you said, kind of get to know each other um, and they go show together. So a lot of our kids have showed together at, you know, the Clinton County and Caldwell and, you know, Buchanan County. So they've kind of become a family yeah, of sorts. And I know my daughter just started this year in 4-H and she's in the bunny business. So we're yeah. showing bunnies and we had no clue what we were doing. And when we walked in, it was just great to see Lee's family just like oh new people let's help them they look like they need help and that's <laughs> awesome I love yeah it. I no, for sure it, it is a good community absolutely Blaine um 
you grew up in the in the ag community. What was your greatest memory as a as a kiddo of the county fair? Um, you won't believe this, but I've never actually got to show as a 4-H or FFA. Or my first experience was showing up and helping run it and helping do all the organization and watch other kids do it. And so right now it's I'm watching my daughter get to do it. So that's kind of a fun experience. And my son's just now to be a peewee, so he's getting to start some stuff too. But I haven't, you know, so my experience is not the same. Um, yeah. Other yeah. So do you think that over the years, um, as a parent and as a uh, ag teacher, do you think you have enough experience that you could put together uh, a pretty good project and uh, and take it to the state level? Yeah. Um, actually, I think I've learned a lot just by watching our little county fair go on and, you know, talking to the judges and obviously in my classes in college, uh, you know, we had some of those judging classes and, you know, whatnot. And I think I could do it. There's certain aspects that I think, like we said, it's a community that I, if I don't know it, I can get the answer and help these, help people out. And that's what it's all about is yeah. helping yeah. each other. And and everyone's learning something new. There's very good. Very good. Things I learn Wait, every day. What are some hobbies that you and your family enjoy? Um. We like to, obviously, we started this rabbit adventure, so we work with those, um, with our children, and then we'll go out and go fishing and go to the lake and um, hang out with our family, mainly, just kind of yeah. hang around. We're, we're busy, both of us being an ag teacher. We don't have a lot of free time. Nope, I bet that's true. I bet that's true. Your kids probably take every bit that you can, you can give them, so that's yeah. fantastic. Very good. Well, Blaine Martin, DeKalb County Fair, thanks for joining us today on Live Music Nation Podcast, County Fair Edition. Thanks for being one of the true ag-driven county fairs out there that still remain. Well, thank you again. And, you betcha. Um, we invite anyone that can to come and participate in our fair and uh, do what they can do. So, Absolutely. Thank you very much for being on with us, Blaine. Yep. Thank you. You bet. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle.